Hey guys, what's up? Gladly here. So recently, I found out about this method that you can use to fly around the world of Hyrule. And when I say flying, I mean actually levitating on top of a metal box on top of a minecart that you pull up with Magnesis. And then you can basically fly around the world by pulling and pushing on the minecart to go in the direction that you want. It looked really cool, so I wanted to do it. I tried for a couple of hours, but it ended up not working that well. The metal crate on top is really unstable, and if you do fall off, it will often break on the ground. So you have to go find another crate, which is a lot of time wasted. But then I found out about a method that used two minecarts instead, much better. So today, we're gonna learn how to fly this thing, and then make a round trip of the world on top of it. Okay, so the first thing we need is to find a place where we can find two minecarts, preferably pretty close to each other. And the best spot I found is in the Goron City, just warp to the shrine, and down by the lava lake to the north is going to be your first minecart. Which you can then pull to you with Magnesis, and we're going to carry this up back to the top. Next, we're going to climb this wall right here, and on top will be your second minecart. So just pull it to you and put it down next to the other one. Now that we have the two minecarts, we're going to place one in the direction that we want to go, so that the front part is facing forward. Ideally, you want to place it on flat ground or a slight uphill. Once the first card is in position, we're going to take the second card and place it into the first one. We don't want it right in the middle, we want it kind of towards the back of the bottom mine card, so that it makes the bottom card kind of tip backward towards you. I'm just going to take a minute here to get it into the position that I want. It might take a few tries, especially if the ground is kind of uneven. Again, raise it up. Put it towards the back of the bottom minecart and make it tip towards you. Okay, there we go. This is the exact position that I want. From here, we can step up into the cockpit or the driver's seat of this contraption. We're going to use Magnesis on the front of the bottom minecart. Just like that. The first thing I want to do is to gain some height, so I'm going to pull up on the control stick. But the controls are pretty sensitive, so don't use too much force on this. Okay, so now we have to balance the movement of the minecart with our own movement. If it starts turning to the left, we step to the left. If it starts turning to the right, we step to the right. If it starts tilting backward, we step forward. And if it starts tilting forwards, we take a step back. But do this in very small steps, or you'll quickly lose control of this. Don't worry if you fall off a few times, it took me several tries to get this level of control. And I still mess up a lot. Just pay attention to the movement of the minecart and work to counterbalance that movement. Once you feel stable, you can try to take a step forward and gently push up on the D-pad or arrow keys. This is basically the accelerator and will let us travel at a much faster speed. And once you get the hang of it, you can basically hold it down all the way without fear of falling down. You can turn by slightly tilting left or right. And you can also use motion controls, but be very careful. Or you might just have to watch your two friendly minecarts fall into a pool of lava. My best tip for this is to be patient, because you will probably fail over and over again, just like I did while trying to learn this. But if you end up mastering it, it's a very unique experience in the game, and you can discover the world from a whole new perspective. Not to mention that you can get pretty much anywhere at any time, and there might even be some weird interactions, like what if you try to enter the Divine Beasts early? I don't know, maybe I'll try that out. But for now, we're gonna see just how far we can push this thing, literally, by trying to take a trip around the world. We're gonna start right here in Goron City. We're gonna try to make our way down southeast to the very corner of the map. We're gonna turn to the west, stop by Gerudo Town, head up north to the Rito Village and the Hebra area, and then go back east until we reach Death Mountain again. This is going to be a long trip, so let's get started.
no, 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 Damn it. Ah, uh, we did make it past that mountain, so I'm going to give that a pass. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I never want to do it again. But wow, this game is really beautiful. After trying this, I kind of hope that they introduce flying mounts in some form, because looking at the world from above is really very epic, and you get a great sense of scale when you're so high up. I like this one. I wanted to go to Eventide Island, but as soon as I stepped into the boundaries of the island, it stopped me and took away all my stuff and dropped me into the sea. And I had to start all over. Thanks, game. I'll probably use this for some other tests. But for now, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.